Um, welcome to your gold market update charts of the day for today, Wednesday, the 22nd of February. Mike Smith, Cena Analyst of Gold Markets, here to lead you around what's happening in financial markets today. Of course, overnight we saw broad-based sell-off in the US, all of the major indices down in excess of 2% after the return from the long weekend. The reasons for this, well, we saw bond yields rise to four-month highs, the 10-year near 3.9% which is where it was in November, on continued Fed hawkishness. So we're playing a bit of catch up there. And we also saw a couple of the retailers miss expectations when they released earnings. So generally, perhaps we are as far as we dare go now without any further information on markets. But we are seeing US futures higher in early Asian trading. But Asian indices are following that weaker US lead. The ASX is currently trading around 0.3%, which is about half of where it was uh, on mixed earnings. So really opened the day quite poorly down around about 0.9% at its worst for a few minutes and then slowly but surely has made its way back up a little bit and stabilized around this level it's at now. European equity futures are pointing to a slightly negative open and the VIX is trading over the key 20 level around about 21 near its year-to-date high at this stage just again intimating the market is feeling more uncomfortable. The US dollar index slightly high yesterday, still under the 200 EMN, slightly softer in Asia today so far. Gold is holding 1830 support near its year-to-date lows. And copper has surprisingly edged to the upside again yesterday and continues to move higher still. It's at three-week highs now, but there is plenty of scope for yet more movement to the upside, one would suspect, if this buying pressure continues. All was slightly weaker again, and Bitcoin also retraced from its nine-month highs, but still very much an uptrend, and is slightly up in Asian trading today again. Earnings season obviously continues. We're at the back end of the US earnings season with the retailers reporting, and of course we're in the middle of ASX earnings season. In terms of the data, the German CPI and business data is due out this afternoon, but the highlight by distance is the FOMC minutes. So the Fed written report about the thinking behind the last interest rate decision. That could be a significant market mover. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. We'll start with the GB pound Canadian dollar. We're looking at the hourly chart just to show you that price action over the last 24 hours. We saw the big pickup after European Open yesterday. That continued throughout the session, leveled off, and now we're seeing a desire to push higher again, potentially. So that's interesting. This 164.66 level looks important, which is about 60 pips up from where we are now. So possibly a breach of today's high so far could see us move up to that level pretty quickly. On stocks, we're looking at QBE, uh, just a continuation of that big earnings jump we saw. You can see this line we've got here at 15.16. We think this is a key level here. If we just put it on the monthly chart, you can see this was the high back in November 2019. And so... That's possibly why it paused there yesterday, having another pop at it today. Uh, but certainly, if it breaches that, that's going to be significant. It may see the stock up to around about $17 in the medium term. Just be aware that we are seeing risk rising slightly, so bear that in mind when you're uh, making your trading decisions today. Trade safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.